Hi everyone, hope you're well. I uh, fired up the uh, 7300 this morning and the BLA 350. Um, uh, thought I'd have a just a little tune around and um, hadn't actually used the linear for, uh, for a few weeks actually. I've been using the Kenwood um, because the audio on it is not quite perfect. But um, anyway, I thought I'd uh, have a go this morning rather than do it on one of the HF nets. And um, although the uh, antenna, the NFED wire is matching okay, um, even uh, with only a few watts of power, the SWR is moving around. Um, and when I wind the power up to sort of 90 plus watts, I think I can see some arcing inside the uh, ATU. So it was pretty obvious that all was not well. Um, so I had a quick visual check and couldn't see anything. So um, check the earth, radials, I can't see, but uh, that's the earth rod with the about 30 radials from it, all looks okay. Um, so the next thing to check was the 9 to 1 Unan. So um, I took the lid off it and as you can see, well, it's drying out now, but it was basically, it wasn't full of water, but it, was, but it had a lot of water in it. So this was kind of weatherproof box. Uh, doesn't seem to be very weatherproof. And um, so here it is, the 9 to 1 Unan. You can see actually that, uh, well, one of the terminals to the actual antenna wire is actually was actually very loose so that needs tightening up you can see there's still water still water inside it um, the earth connection terminal is fine and everything else is fine but obviously it's got water inside it and um, uh, which isn't very good and I can't remember actually if when Andy G1ZMA built this he actually glued the windings down or not but the, the windings are intact but the whole thing's just wet so uh, I'm gonna dry it out I've got my spanner, I'm gonna tighten up the uh, terminal uh, and um, and then put it all back together. Um, I might try and actually seal it in a, some kind of plastic bag, but, uh, and then hopefully I can get some power into it. So it's not a matching issue. Uh, so the actual conductor, the radiating wire looks okay, but um, can't get any power through it. So, uh, uh, so there you go. I thought this box was supposed to be waterproof. Well, it is supposed to be waterproof. It's got a rubber seal. Um, it doesn't look in particularly good shape, actually. This is a brand new box um, that I bought. I bought it a long time ago, but um, you can see that the, uh, the O-ring seal sort of a little bit compressed um, and isn't sealing properly. So uh, it's definitely going to need some additional waterproofing. Otherwise, this is going to happen again. So there you go. Um, shame actually, because this antenna has been working really well, but it just goes to show that um, most antennas deteriorate if you leave them outside long enough. Um, and uh, we did have a lot of rain for several weeks. So uh, I didn't realize actually until today when uh, I noticed that um, I couldn't get any power through, uh, through this antenna. So um, let it dry out, tighten it up, and uh, hopefully it all will be working again. I'll, um, I'll probably post another video once I've done that. Anyway, thanks for watching. 73.